Hello everybody! Today's spooky video is by the channel Slapped Ham. It's called Chilling Detail. This video leaves audiences shocked. So you know what to do. Grab your popcorn, get comfy, and enjoy the show. Ooh, I'm ready. We haven't seen Slapped Ham in a while. That. This clip, uploaded to TikTok by Terra oh, S Nocturnals, was, was captured inside of a morgue at an unknown location. Wait. Take a A mall? Morgue. <laughs> I was gonna say this looks like a morgue. I thought he said mall. It's like, what kind of funeral home is at a mall? Look at what happens. Oh no. No. Whoa! Who is that? that was Watching that again at the very end of the clip, a transparent mass moves past the camera. Even looks like a silhouette of body. I know it does. A side profile. Crazy. Well, it's not surprising that it's more, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be. Yeah, I bet this guy sees a lot of things. Oh yeah. It almost looks like some moisture on the lens, but that doesn't explain how it moves no. from left to oh, right. It has a, a silhouette. Do any of you guys listen to Radio Rental, the podcast? If you guys do like podcasts and you haven't heard it. There's this episode about this guy who works as a mortician and he couldn't quite tell if the body was like because he oh, was saying man. that he was seeing like a heartbeat and like some kind of thumpy even though the body was completely strapped in when he was like driving it around stuff to bring it to the yeah when he was driving it i don't know it's pretty crazy given the location many viewers have speculated that it's the spirit of someone whose body is being processed at the morgue that's what i was thinking their soul is now trapped inside the building so what do you think's been caught right? on camera yeah. here is there a rational explanation or is it something a little it's more a mysterious morgue. let's not act like that's surprising it's a morgue in 1975, newspaper The Royal Gazette reported on an accident so mysterious oh. and bizarre that even to this day, those who hear about what happened are left dumbfounded. In oh, July 1974, no. Neville Eben was riding his moped through an area of Hamilton, Bermuda, known as Hog Bay Level. As he passed through an intersection, he was struck and killed by a taxi driven by Willard Manders. The Eben family were shocked and bereaved by the terrible accident. Then, one year later, in July of 1975, Neville's twin brother Erskine was riding his deceased brother's moped oh, through no. the Hog Bay level area when he well. too was struck and killed. Oh, what? So either first one was an accident and then became haunted or the moped was already haunted to begin with, right? Or cursed. It had to be cursed, right? Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was like, this sounds like a curse. Or like like a Final Destination type of thing. You think that happened to Travis Barker? Like the plane? Oh yeah, I don't know. I know it's like sentimental because that was when yeah, but I probably wouldn't have rode it. Just kept it maybe storage or something. Is yeah, but there's oh. no way you could have known. Yeah, but, that's yeah, that is very. But it's eerie. like it's like a, it's already a bad accident. By a taxi, it turned out to be the exact same taxi that struck his brother exactly oh, one year. What? Okay, never mind. It's it must be. Taxi driver that's targeting them. It's yeah, it's starting to right? sound like that. What the heck, dude? Same taxi? No, he he had to like. What if taxi driver didn't know which twin? This was trying to get both prior, like and it was driven by the same driver, Willard Manders. Even more bizarre, according to the twin boy's father, John Henry Eben, the taxi was carrying the same passenger on both occasions. Gee, what? So both twins were killed on the same moped in the same area by the same taxi and driver no, carrying the same passenger. And it all happened exactly... No. What? That's... That's like... Oh my gosh, that's... that's like one in a trillion, crazy. right? That, that, that's not a coincidence anymore. Come on. Crazy. But the same passenger? Yeah, man. It's the passenger that was targeting them. Exactly one year apart. What? Given and the extraordinary circumstances, many people have always thought this story is nothing more than an urban legend. Oh. However, there is plenty of evidence pointing to it actually happening. Several noteworthy newspapers reported on the incident at the time, oh. including the Royal Gazette and the Scunthorpe Evening Telegraph. There's also names, dates, and addresses given for all those involved. So okay, but the I, I just saw the snippets of the article, but it didn't 
We would have pointed out that it was the same taxi, same passenger. All I said was same moped and the same street. Maybe maybe people were just like making the story more interesting. That's my stuff. Right up. or something. That is that's a crazy story though. Here you In go. early 2022, Reddit user Menoraman100 uploaded a collection of UFO sightings that all show a strikingly similar pattern happening over and over oh. again all over the world, and it's left viewers wondering just what the heck is going on. UFO. In this first clip, onlookers are stunned by a strange red orb of light in the night sky. Oh. Well, it's like it's shooting down pods, right? With <laughs> aliens coming down, right? That's what it looks like. <laughs> Did anyone go try to oh, look, find another out what one. it is? It appears to be dropping smaller balls of light yes. into the air. Like a team of investigators, right? Alien investigators coming down. <laughs> and eventually disappears altogether. Oh, weird. Oh, no. They're like, oh, we've got to put and on our cloaking device. North America on the 8th of <laughs> December 2019, a very similar sighting is caught on film. Yeah, see, like they, they're like multiple ones shooting down, so they're like. There's two again. They're, they're see, they're a team of investigation, right? And they're investigators. Just like. And then they're like, oh, we forgot to put our cloaking device on. Is that a comet? No, look how. Plane, hurry! What? Whoa! What is that? What is that? Oh. Babe, is that a comet? I don't know what the. F <laughs> it is dropping stuff. Watch, guys. Do you see it? Yeah. Look at those moving too. Oh, just, there are a lot of them. What? Whoa, that one went far down. Look at another one. Yet another sighting is captured in Asia, showing two balls dropping smaller orbs of light. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Yet another sighting, this time in South Korea. Again, it's a very similar pattern of light. Doesn't talk at all. I feel like. <gasps> I hope they're not the one driving, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I don't know. What do you guys think? Because how do all of them have the same video all over the world, right? Pattern. Yeah. This per I just want to know if this person's shocked. <laughs> Wait, is that another one? Yeah, are there two now? The other one's like, hey, turn on your invisibility. Oh, there. Trapped one. Yeah. Wait, what happened to the other one? Were, weren't there two big orbs? And finally, this event captured in South America. Oh. Oh, no. That is so strange. <laughs> A couple just enjoying the view. <laughs> UFO, orbs of light, is a term used to describe unidentified flying objects that are seen as glowing orbs or spheres of light in the sky. These orbs can be of different colors, sizes, and brightness levels, and they're often reported as moving in unusual or erratic ways. Some people believe that these orbs are evidence of extraterrestrial life and that they're part of a UFO or alien craft. Others think that they form some sort of natural phenomenon, such as ball lightning or atmospheric plasma. However, oh. there's no scientific evidence that. to support yeah. either of these theories. Some researchers and UFO enthusiasts have suggested that the orbs are some kind of advanced technology that's being used by extraterrestrial beings to observe or interact with humans. It's investigators. What it is, right? They suggest that the orbs are capable of changing shape, colour and brightness, and that they've been seen to merge and split, which isn't normal for any known natural occurrence. However, the most common explanations for orbs is the presence of camera artifacts, dust, particles, atmospheric conditions, and insects in front of the lens, creating a lens flare effect that make the uh, orbs appear in the footage. Ultimately, okay. though, I'll leave That's these strange sightings up to you. Yeah, because the way it sh those smaller orbs are dropping, I don't know. Even then, the way the camera moves, if those are stuck on the lens, yeah. they move with the lens. Yeah, especially the one that was driving, or... The passenger of the in top, yeah. yeah, they were moving, but those the, that one big orb was just staying. I don't know. The viewer for final judgment. It's a UFO. 
Let's call it what it is. Dude, I've never seen a ball of lightning. That sounds crazy. Uh, I'm gonna look it up now. <laughs> sticking with unidentified flying orbs of light, some footage has come out of Eastern Europe that appears to show the Romanian military firing on a mysterious ball of light in the night sky. Okay. Take a look. Ooh. Not a good idea. The footage, which was uploaded to Reddit by user 67899 allegedly shows the Romanian Navy firing at an unidentified flying object. It was captured by a civilian staying in a nearby town on the 2nd of September 2021. What is it firing at it or is it like um, bringing those things back to it? I don't know, right? Hard from this angle to really tell. They're shooting at it. The incident has divided the Reddit like community. Said, why would they do Some that? think it's nothing more than target practice and that the Navy's firing on a oh. stationary light as part of a training exercise. Sure. Others, however, are more convinced that the Navy's firing at something unknown, perhaps some extraterrestrial technology. Yeah, but why would they do that? Wouldn't they try to figure out what it is first? Get some intel on it? That's a UFO. That is not the move. Just saying. Uh -oh. An ancient what? wooden pamphlet that was published on August 22nd, 1678 has been discovered in Hertfordshire, England, and it seems to detail a supernatural interaction with the devil himself. Uh, the bulletin details a dispute a local farmer had with his neighbour oh. about the mowing of a field of oats. The farmer asked his poorer neighbour to mow his field for a rather low rate of shillings. The neighbour felt he was worth much more than what was being offered and counted with a much higher rate. The farmer was outraged and declared, the devil himself should mow his oats before he should have anything to do with them. That night, several travellers passing through the area noted that the field of oats were on fire. What? A raging flame lit up the night sky with embers. The following morning, the farmer went to inspect his field, fully expecting a charred black mess. Instead, what he found left him and the rest of the village dumbfounded. What they discovered was that every straw and stalk of oat had been meticulously placed, creating an intricate what? circular pattern. According Pop to circles. reports, it was so detailed that it wouldn't be possible for any man to accomplish it in just one night, or even 100 for that matter. Many scholars who have studied the wooden pamphlet believe it's nothing more than a simple parable warning villagers at the time not to tempt or bargain with the devil. However, many UFO enthusiasts believe this could be one of the earliest known documentations of a crop circle. Crop circles are large, often intricate pa- He said it was a, an article, right? Not like a short story. I don't know. It looks like it's printed like a mm. article, but people are thinking oh, it's actually- Yeah, I wonder if it's like one of those early short stories one wrote. I don't know. Patterns that are found in fields of crops such as wheat, barley, and corn. They first began to be widely reported in the 1970s in southern England and have since been found in many other countries around the world. The, the things circles people did typically on purpose, range in though. size from What's a few feet trend? to several yeah. hundred feet in diameter and can take on a wide variety of shapes, including circles, spirals, and geometric patterns. What if it's just an artist? There are several theories about the origins <laughs> of crop circles. One popular theory is that they're created by natural phenomena such as tornadoes or underground water. Another theory is that they're just man-made, created by hoaxes using planks of wood or yeah. ropes to flatten crops in circular patterns. However, many people believe that crop circles are the work of extraterrestrial beings, created as a form of communication or as a sign of their presence here on Earth. Oh, that's what this it was? <laughs> I was told that that's the shape your spaceship makes when it lands. <laughs> One of the most perplexing crop circles ever discovered. In July 1996, this enormous pattern was discovered in a field adjacent to the famous Neolithic monument Stonehenge. The imprint is an intricate Crazy. fractal design known as a Julia set, a combination of complex numbers that don't converge to any limit. The curious thing about this crop circle is the way it seemed to appear out of nowhere in broad daylight. Stonehenge, which is just metres from the discovery, has a near constant stream of tourists and is under 24-hour surveillance by security guards. 
No one reported seeing any activity in the neighbouring field. Security guards did it. The A303 highway slices right between the field and Stonehenge. Motorists travel the busy road day and night, yet no one witnessed any activity in the field. Yeah, but depending on how high the crops are, right? Would you really see it driving past? Yeah. Some of them, some stalks of corn get really tall. What do you guys think? Several drivers did, however, report an unusual mist hanging in the meadow. Stranger still, busy nearby Thruxton Airport often runs tourist flights over Stonehenge. Okay. On the day of discovery, a pilot claims he was flying over Stonehenge late Sunday afternoon and didn't notice anything unusual in the fields below. He's part of Just it. Just 45 minutes later, on his return run, he spotted the enormous 274 metre, which is Wait, about... Wait, you're saying it happened in 45 minutes? I don't know. Do you think that guy's lying? 900 feet shape below. This suggests that someone or something managed to create an elaborate crop circle in plain sight in under 45 minutes without any witnesses whatsoever. A Reddit user by the name of Oxcat1 has made a pretty wild discovery in a set of NASA's publicly released Mars rover images, and it's what? left the Reddit community Rocks. baffled. These snaps were taken by NASA's Spirit rover, which was in operation from 2004 to 2010. In that time, the Mir A exploration rover took hundreds of images of the sparse Martian landscape. However, in one particular set, a strange anomaly has been spotted. In this set, which was enhanced by the OP, you can see a rock that seems to appear and disappear over a series of slides. Here you can see the rock highlighted by the yellow arrow. Okay. In the following image, it's gone. Looks like two different images though. Then, 10 sol days later, oh. a sol day is just 40 minutes longer than a day here on Earth. Hey, look at the rock formation. They're all totally different. It's just a different area, right? Earth, you can see what appears to be the same rock, but now it's, it's over on the left. I don't know. Some viewers thought it was just Photoshop trickery due to the enhanced filter that the OP used. However, here are the original NASA images taken from the rover. As you scroll through them, you can indeed see the rock move from one location to another. But it's like different angles, right? Or are, are you saying that's the same? Oh, here we go. To be fair, this is a planet. No. Yeah. Some commenters suggested it could just be a trick of perspective as the rover does change position slightly over the course of several yeah. sole days. Perhaps as it moves, it reveals the rock. But that doesn't seem to explain why it appears to be in a different location entirely on several of the images. So how alien. do you explain this Martian mystery? How could that rock be moving? It's Unless an more alien. info comes to hand or NASA makes an even know all the species on our own planet you're gonna say it's that surprising to think there's life on mars true like it's a totally different environment it's a totally different planet you don't know what kind of life can inhabit that planet no there's one thing we do know if you hit that notification bell and subscribe to us you'll get more videos like this